Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Mac Build Showcase. I'm Falag and today we are going to be talking about the Pathfinder build. I like Pathfinders and I cannot lie, they are very good uh, as uh, your mobile support unit that can get into flanks easily and uh, safely dispatch even heavily armored enemies with their great mobility and the uh, squad side. They are perfect. Uh, in basically killing mectoids, they are the best at it, there is no nobody better than that uh, and uh, my pr uh, favorite build uh, to dispatching mectoids and sectopods is the build I'm going to be talking about right now, it's the squad side pathfinder he is uh, a very fragile unit, I forgot to give uh, him the armor so I'm gonna be doing that while talking and uh, with this build you can safely move Wow, well, would I just leave that hairstyle? We can move uh, safely into position to eliminate the uh, uh, heavily armored enemy like a cyber disc, mectoid or a sectopod uh, or even a mutant elite uh, without uh, getting in range of their weapons uh, while uh, not really committing your sniper to that or even an in the zone Jaeger because uh, they have some limitations in their mobility and uh, they are not as good as your uh, rotating flanker but the Pathfinder is and he can safely ignore the enemy overwatches and fire by simply staying out of range. So let's talk about uh, the perks. The most important perk that uh, we are having with Pathfinder is the hit and run. It allows to shoot, uh, the uh, scout to shoot at an uncovered target and then retreat. It makes for a perfect flanker because uh, with the additional mobility and ability to jump into the top of the building uh, this guy can safely kill your mech, uh, <laughs> I mean the enemy mech, the enemy mech and retreat to safety without uh, worrying too much. Um, as for Lance Corporal we are taking Lone Wolf because uh, while this unit is going to be staying inside the buildings and uh, behind the squad most of the time if he actually go, uh, goes out to shoot the enemy then he is going to be in a Lone Wolf range and gets uh, additional bonuses for aim and crit. Now what uh, the important uh, perk on Corporal it's the choice that is going to define your tactics is uh, whether you prefer to take them good ground giving you additional defense and aim when you are in higher elevation than the enemy using the uh, mech suits uh, rocket boots to get into elevation or you can take sharpshooter meaning that you can get more crit in all situations and uh, plus an aim against enemies in full cover we are not going to be shooting against enemies in full cover because that defeats the purpose of hit and run and then good ground is highly situational because you don't always ge get a chance to do so uh, however it is uh, in my personal opinion uh, better to take uh, yourself a sharpshooter rather than them good ground because as I said there isn't always a building that gives you a good flanking opportunity you can you will most often shoot from the ground and even though your bonus aim is not going to be uh, added uh, due to the fact that you're not shooting enemies in full cover you still get additional crit chance and there is nothing better than critting your enemy on squad side because squad side reduces your crit chance so uh, any crit you can get is good and uh, for that very purpose we are taking Executioner on Sergeant, giving us 10 aim and 10 critical chance against enemies that are below 50% health, that is self-explanatory I think. On Tech Sergeant uh, I like to take Aggression that gives uh, more uh, crit per enemy in sight, however there is an important thing about it, the aliens that are visible via squad sight are not counted for the bonus. So if your enemy is not overwatching then it is good to get into your, your normal gun range and shoot from there because this gives you an additional crit, what else is there to say? If you, pref if you find yourself uh, shooting from squad side regardless of anything so that you, your mech doesn't take any damage which is important being squishy as it is you can take vital point targeting uh, improving your base damage and since we are building this guy for squad side right now we are taking vital point targeting meaning plus 2 damage from pri uh, primary weapons against enemies that are being autopsied and exiled. And uh, on gunnery sergeant we can finally take squad side so that we can safely open fire from the outside of the overwatch range which is pretty great because it uh, give, uh, gives your pathfinder a chance to survive if the enemy sta uh, is surviving at the end of the turn or if there is more enemies and uh, last but not least uh, I like to take rapid fire uh, against the, the enemy uh, because we are using this build to kill the big big enemy units and uh, it is a good thing to have because 
If you can kill your enemy with one shot, then hit and run is going to allow you to run away, or if there is more than one enemy, hit and run is going to allow you to run away. However, if there is just this one last remaining sectopod and you just have to finish it off because before it barrages you, then the rapid fire is your friend, because it's going to allow you to unload your uh, plus two damage gun at the enemy. You can also take range instead of executioner if you don't really care about crit that much meaning additional one point of damage. However, we are taking rapid fire right now and this uh, creates the Pathfinder Sniper that is great for flanking the enemy, you can get yourself into perfect positions to shoot uh, that is uh, outside of the enemy retaliation range, either open fire and run away back to safety so that they don't just come to you and shoot you if there is some enemy surviving at the end of the turn, or just a rapid fire against a mech uh, toid or a sectopod or even a cyber disc if it's not really flying, with uh, the minus 15 aim penalty being uh, reduced by executioner, sharpshooter and lone wolf, you lose 15 aim but you gain 30, so all is well uh, with uh, the enemy mech units being easy to hit. And you can easily dispatch the enemy from outside the retaliation range. As for the uh, armors, we are taking the mobility armor, of course, for the rocket boots uh, and, well, the mobility. For small items, uh, just in case, it's good to take some dodge uh, and, uh, like, a battle computer because that adds you 8 aim, 8 critical chance and 8 uh, defense and uh, a scope or armor piercing ammo, which is always important when fighting mechanical units. And uh, on your shoulders you can take a power fist and a flamethrower so that you can get the additional utility of dealing with chrysalids and berserkers uh, or even punch a mectoid to death, which is always fun, come on. And uh, that's it, that's uh, the uh, squad side flanking Pathfinder. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if so let me know in the comments and like the video and uh, so on and so forth. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching, bye bye, and as usual, thanks to everybody who is supporting the channel. I love you, see you.